ask if I would put together a video of what I've been doing with the Monarchs. So that's what we're going to do today. I thought I would start with why. I like the Monarchs. I think they're beautiful. And they've also become um, endangered and could be put on the endangered species list. So let's start with the milkweed. That's where the monarchs lay their eggs, the only food that the caterpillars eat. So that's where we started. And you can see it behind me. This is some of our common milkweed. We've also got several different types. One of my greatest joys has been watching my grandchildren experience this whole metamorphosis. Shia, there's two dots right here. See by its body? And that means it's a male. If it doesn't have any dots like that, then it's a female. That means it's a girl. Look at those. Yeah, but these are the dots on the wings. See those black dots? Yeah. From an egg, to the caterpillar, to the chrysalis, to the butterfly emerging from the chrysalis, and the excitement that <laughs> the grandkids have. <laughs> In you like the butterflies? We start with gathering the eggs. Occasionally we'll see the monarchs lay the eggs and put them in a small container by cutting the leaves into small squares. After about three to six days, the eggs will hatch and we will take those tiny little caterpillars that I have to get a magnifying glass to see and put them on new fresh leaves. We will keep these baby caterpillars in a small to-go container that we've punched holes in. We give them new milkweed leaves every day for them to eat and continue to grow. As they get larger, we will move them into a larger mesh laundry hamper and continue to give them more leaves as they get bigger and we change the leaves out every day and clean up their fraz or droppings. After about 10 days or so they've grown tremendously, gone through all these milkweed leaves, then they will go into what is called J hanging and then you know they're about to go into the pupating stage and become a chrysalis. Actually, they don't become a chrysalis. The chrysalis is inside the caterpillar and the skin will break apart and the chrysalis emerges. Charles was able to capture this whole process called pupating where the caterpillar reveals the chrysalis inside of him by shedding its skin. It will stay in the chrysalis about a week. The chrysalis will become transparent. You can actually see the wings. It looks black, but if you look real closely, you can see the orange and the black veins. And then you will see a small separation or crack. And then you're within moments of it becoming a butterfly. After it comes out of the chrysalis, it really doesn't look like the butterfly that we think of. Its abdomen is real big or plump and the wings are small. It will pump fluid into those wings so that they will straighten out and become flat. To see the excitement in our grandkids' eyes are just amazing and it makes the whole process well worth the time and effort we've put into it. In the comments I'll give you some resources where you can learn more about this entire process. But something as simple as planting some milkweed. If you can't find milkweed you can order seeds and start your milkweed that way. The milkweed is very important. There are several organizations that are also helping get more plants out there for the monarchs. 
One of those is Springdale for Monarchs, and they had a giveaway yesterday of a variety of milkweed. Another thing that we do for the Monarchs is have some pollinating plants in our garden. We've got some cone flowers here just in our flower garden. And we also have some milkweed in amongst them. So it helps them encourage growth. And I hope this video has been helpful in just inspiring you to do something to help the monarchs. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them. But enjoy the process. Make it as simple or as elaborate as you would like. I truly hope that you'll catch the addiction that I've gotten with the monarchs.